Hello there. In this video, we're going to be discussing some practical ideas, comments for the Spiritual Gems section for this week, September 4 to 10, 2023. And we want to thank you, friends. We welcome you. Welcome back to our channel. And once again, thanks for watching. And now let's jump right in. The first one comes from Esther 2. Five this week, the Bible, the, this week's Bible reading is the book of Esther. We are starting the reading of this book, and it reads the scripture reads, There was a certain Jewish man in Shushan, the citadel, whose name was Mordecai, son of Jer, son of Shimei, son of Kish, a Benjaminite. So the question is. What evidence seems to support the Bible called account of Mordecai? And this reference, this watchtower, says that some researchers discover a Persian cuneiform text that mentions a man named Marduka, in English Mordecai, and he worked as an administrator, possibly an accountant, in Shushan. There are remarkable similarities between Marduka mentioned in the tablets and Mordecai mentioned in the Bible. They live at the same time and in the same place and serve in official positions at the same place of work. All these similarities together suggest that their archaeological discoveries may relate to the Mordecai described in the book of Esther. Now let's move on to the second question. What spiritual gems from this week's Bible reading would you like to share regarding Jehovah, the field ministry, or something else? So we have some practical advice, ideas from this week's Bible reading. Let's get started with the first one. Esther 1.12 Some scholars suggest that the queen refused to obey because she chose not to degrade herself before the king's drunken guests. Or perhaps this augurly beautiful queen really wasn't submissive. While the Bible doesn't state her motive, the wise men of the day thought that obedience to the husband was definitely an issue and that Vashti's bad example would influence all the wives in the provinces of Persia. So we can tell how a wife conduct has an effect in the rest of the people. Number 2. Esther 1.17 reminds us of the importance of setting a good example through words and actions. In this case, the family of brothers who have a service privileges in the congregation, their conduct, their words are very important. Their conduct, their words influence the rest of the congregation. No doubt, this motivates us to set a good example with our words and actions. Number three, Esther 1 Sorry guys, Esther 2, 1 to 4. In this story of the Bible was happening something like a beauty contest. This was occurring. And today we can see in the TV, in internet, this type of events. And however, the point is the Bible teaches that external beauty is deceptive and flirting. But the woman who praises and fears Jehovah shall be praised. We have the reference in Proverbs 31, 30. Number 4, Esther 2, 10. On many occasions, it's good that we be reserved and take care of the words or private information that we reveal to others, because eventually this can be used against us. And this is a practical advice that Mordecai gave to Esther, and it worked. Number 5. 
Esther verse 2, chapter 2, verse 10, Esther accepted the erection and consul from a mature worshiper of Jehovah, Mordecai. We are wise to be obedient to those who are taking the lead among us and be submissive, like the Bible says in Hebrews 13, 17. Number 6. Esther chapter 2 verse 11 teaches us that we should keep an eye, not in personal interest, upon just our own matters, but also in personal interest upon those of the others. So it doesn't mean we are a police and we are watching every step every move of our brothers and sisters, but if someone in the congregation is suffering, is getting sick or having a hard time, we could apply this scripture taking care for them or give them a hand in their critical times, not to affect them in a negative way. Number 7, Esther chapter 2 verse 12, we can tell how today many people, they are giving excessive importance to external beauty, appearance, and they forget that inner beauty is also important. And there are very physically attractive people, but if we take a look of their inside, they are not so attractive as they look outside at all. So we can show good judgment in our external appearance and also our inner appearance. Number 8. Esther chapter 2 verse 15. We can tell how Esther showed modesty and self-control by not requesting additional jewelry or finer clothing than what was provided by Hegai. It was the secret person of the heart in the uncorruptible apparel of the quiet and mild spirit that won Esther the king's favor. Like the Bible says in 1 Peter 3, 4. So this is a pretty good example for us. Number 9. Esther chapter 2 verse 21 to 23, Esther and Mordecai were good examples of subjection to the superior authorities, like the Bible says in Romans 13, 1. And the last one, number 10, Esther 2, 12, although our meetings are not a fashion show, a wrong way, we must try to take care of our appearance, dressing, when we are attending meetings. Go clean, well-dressed, about flashy, tight, revealing styles, etc. So friends, that's it. If you still here in this part of this video, we want to say thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being with us in this transmission. And if you like this video, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. And we hope you enjoy your meeting this time for this week, for this midweek, for this week. And so that's it. And we want to say thank you again and see you next time. Be safe. Have a lovely day. Bye.